Yo, what's up, AD team? Austin Dunham back again with another video. And today we are in New York. We literally just arrived here. And right now we're in a place called Wingate Park. A lot of reps, a lot of sets, and a lot of great legends have been in the same exact area. So for the first video slash vlog to kick off the New York um, series, um, we're gonna bring a friend out here. He's gonna be teaching me something that a lot of you guys want to learn. It's something I've never made a video on. Fun fact, I was literally the best when it came to the monkey bars when I was in school. And the reason why I was, I am in New York is because I'm having a meetup that is tomorrow. All right, so we're here for the first day. Today's Friday. The meet is gonna be Saturday. I'm gonna have a whole video, a whole vlog for that that you guys are gonna enjoy. So be sure to stay tuned for yeah, that. So we got him in the building. What do you, what do you want to go by? Like Irvin, Man, the Irvin, fitness journals? Irvin, Irvin Felix Jean, the fitness journals. Yeah. I don't know, people like, yo, you're TFJ. This man is a beast, man. Specifically at the human flag. I'm gonna play a little clip right now just to show you guys how beast he is. All right, guys, so you just saw that clip, absolute beast. So you're like over 200 pounds. I'm 205. Right? Now Two, I'm 205. 205. I'm have to get on the scale and prove it. And how tall are you? I'm 5'8". Five 5'8"? Eight. Five eight? I don't know, bro. I haven't checked my height since yeah. I was 17. That's, guess how much, <laughs> guess how much I weigh, man? Uh, you're one, 205. 182. <laughs> no, bro. I'm, I'm 165 right now. Bro, you're lying. I'm 165 <laughs> right now. I need the scale, bro. Oh, look at the... Gorilla arms, gorilla arms, Crazy man. Out here, I'm gonna put it to use right now on that flag. But guys, basically we're about to warm up right now because it's freezing out here. Well, not freezing, but it's kind of cold, kind of oh, wind yeah. chill. We're gonna warm up just for a little while, then we're gonna get into some tips with the Mr. Flag Specialist himself to just show you guys some flag tips and stuff like that. So stay tuned, let's get into it. I gotta check the scale. I don't know if this guy really 165. Man, I promise you, I am. I promise you. All right, guys, we're a little bit warmed up now. So, this video, it's all about just human flag tips. What is a human flag? I don't know. Yeah, so basically, <laughs> a human flag, I guess you could say having yourself hanging from a structure parallel to the, and your, parallel, your body's parallel to the ground. Yeah. So, that's basically it. This shit looks cool. Yeah. It's a cool party trick. And also, increasing the stability of your shoulders if you want them bolder shoulders mm -hmm. good isometric isometric exercise key thing i'm going to assume that you at least have a baseline of strength when you're going to perform it um the full human flag the complete mm -hmm. human flag so that's what i'm going to show you first then i'll break down some progression so yeah. number one you want your top hand and bottom hand to be in a straight line straight line and what i mean by that you don't want one hand to be off center like that and another one to be like that if you try and do it like that nothing yeah nothing you're gonna you're gonna fall so the bottom hand is the pushing hand the top hand is the pulling hand so you create equal tension by pushing and pulling at the same time and then that's how your body generate the lift up, right yep it generates a lift gotcha. so the main thing people think is core but the main thing is the shoulders shoulders of course the core if you have a strong body yeah i mean no yeah. duh it's a good thing to have your an entire strong body yeah. it makes it easier to perform so, like I said, I'm gonna assume you have a baseline of strength. So what we're gonna do, push and pull. Just by pushing and pulling alone, you should generate lift. So push and pull, head through the arms. Strong shoulders, man. And that's another thing, is having the head between the shoulders. Between, okay. Between, just like that. You don't wanna be like that. You don't want your head to be out like that. You want everything to be in line. Gotcha. Be in line. So I'm gonna try and like just do everything you just said. Cause fun fact, I really never trained human flag at mm -hmm. all. Like I can hold it for a few seconds just because of all the other stuff I've learned. So let's go ahead and get into so first one, hand up here. This one, other hand. Which 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 side is your strong side? I'm stronger on this okay. side. Okay, yeah. So try it there. Mm -hmm. So top hand. Down there in line. Yep. Straighten the body. Head between, just like that. Push and pull. There we go. Look at the lift. 
Look at the lift. Just like that. It's magic. Yeah, <laughs> magic. It's magic. Yeah. So just like that, you feel. Where do you feel the most tension? I felt it in my shoulder and my lats. Honestly. Yep. So that's it. Not not really core at all. Not not really yeah. core. At all. It help, the core helps with the maintenance of keeping that straight alignment. Yeah. You know what I mean? And psychomotor skills. The more you mm -hmm. do it, the better, the stronger those uh, neural connections become. And another thing is the terrace major. I, I, I did tear my terrace major yeah. when I was trying to do a human flag with some weight on and I wasn't strong enough to do it. Mm -hmm. And it tore. It was a slight tear, but that's where you're going to feel it as well. So even doing slight exercises like that, yeah. um, I, probably, I could probably show a couple of drills that you could perform. Um, I was about to ask you that because even though I'm able to do it just through carryover, <laughs> you actually trained for this when you yep. first started. Yep. So what exactly did you do to help train for that skill? So you? yeah, number like the main thing at first, I just tried it. Yeah. I couldn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so I'm like, well, obviously I don't have the strength to do it. Mm -hmm. So naturally by just getting in that position, I was able to develop the strength by just getting in the position, something as basic as that, without like any isometric, I mean, um, isolated exercise, focusing mm -hmm. on the specific area. Yeah. But the main thing that really helped me is doing this. I would come, and I learned on the bar, on the, the, um, oh, on the straight yeah, bar. the straight bar. Yeah, I didn't and another key thing, this is easier. If you're a beginner, perform it on horizontal bars, mm -hmm. not on vertical bars. But I learned by just doing this. Uh, just just like that. Little lifts like Little that. Little lifts like that. Nope. Just like that. Let me try that. I would just feel it in that in that position there. I would feel the muscles loading that I'm trying to work. And then you see how he's locked out all the way? That's what you want. Joints completely locked out. Yeah, that's a good one, man. Just like that. Yeah. So it alleviates a lot of the resistance. Progr just like anything, progressive overload. Progressive we know overload, that progressive yeah. overload, progressively adding more and more resistance. Mm -hmm. So the the straighter, the further your legs come out, the more overall resistance that you're gonna experience on those joints, on those muscles. So if you don't have, you wouldn't go in the gym and try and bench four plates if you never mm -hmm. lifted in your life. No different with calisthenics. Exactly. No different. Another one I would do as well is just making sure I'm straight. I'm sh I'm stretching, stretching the terrace muscles. Because mm -hmm. after that happened, I was religious religiously doing it. So what's one more drill or exercise somebody can use to learn the human flag besides just a little leg lift? The next good thing to, to perform would be doing negatives. So just like doing negative pull-ups, um, um, eccentric training, mm -hmm. super good. Another thing, so once again, straight line, straight line, head between. We're gonna kick up. We're gonna kick up like that. You can start with your arm bent, straighten it out. Thing. Yep, and then you could obviously progress over to that. So negatives. If you want to have someone spot you, super good to do that. Have someone spot you yeah. and slowly come down. Spot you, slowly come down. If you can't do flags after consistently training that for at least a month, mm -hmm. then I don't think you ever be able to do flags. Would you say it's more of an intermediate or advanced base skill flag? Like you learned it as a beginner. As though, a right? beginner, that was the yeah. first move I, I learned. Yeah. Even before I couldn't do a muscle up, I couldn't do crazy anything. That's the first thing I learned. So I believe, and I did have a baseline of strength. Yeah. You know, I wasn't like too much into the calisthenic stuff, but I had the baseline of strength, which definitely helped me. Yeah. I believe if you train it as a baseline of strength beginner or intermediate with calisthenics, you're good to go. That also goes to sh um, show that the said principle, speci specific adaptations mm -hmm. and post specific mm -hmm. demands, which means whatever you train for, that's what you're going to get good at. So Irvin here, he trained for the human flag, but even though he was able to do a human flag, you may not be able to do like 10 muscle ups or yeah. Yeah. a front lever, you know? Yeah. 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 So that goes just, if you really want something, you got to train hard for it. But I'm going to go for these negatives. There we go. Real quick and see if I can do it. And another thing, train both sides. I know oh. I have no there. <laughs> I have the tendency of just going on my strong side That's only. That's your strong side, yeah. Now, yeah. I try and do both sides. So, for example, I'm gonna try and prove that I can yeah. do it on both sides. <laughs> so this is my weaker side. Still got it. Yeah. So train both sides, it, it, and it makes your overall flag stronger. Let's go. There right, we so go. I'm gonna train my weak side with these negatives. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, this is so awkward. There we go. There we go. Ooh, yeah. 
lift the hips. Here we go. Still magic. <laughs> Still got it. That was a good one. All right, so to end this off, what's just one piece of advice a beginner out here watching on the channel and they want to learn the human flight that you can give them? Yeah, so um, major thing is start with the basics. Like literally, that is it. Mm -hmm. Start with the basics. Do those exercises that support those muscles that are responsible for doing the flag. So major, shoulders, lats, um, terrace muscles. Pike push-ups actually do really help and doing isometric holds. Yeah. So holding like that above the bar, coming down nice and slow. Holding like that and you can add weight. You could put on a weight belt, add like 25 pounds and then hold it above that um, 20 seconds. Yeah. And or, you know, obviously depending on your level, but the, the stronger you become, hold it longer you'll be able to do a flag, I promise. Well, I appreciate you for getting on my the channel, man. You ready to Helping go. us out who want a flag. Where can they find you, your stuff? On IG, TFJ underscore CEO. And then on YouTube, trying to get like my boy right here, the Fitness <laughs> Journals LLC. All right, guys, that was the human flag tutorial tip part of the video. Now, I know that was a lot of information, so definitely be sure to take notes and really digest everything of what me and Irvin was saying. So also with that being said, this might differ for everybody. Uh, remember, I never really trained for my human flag. I've just indirectly gotten it, but I know if I did implement these tips within my training, I will be able to hold it for over 15 seconds with just a few months of training, no doubt. So now we're about to head over to another part of the park. Thank you guys for making it this far in the video. Stay tuned. Yo guys, so we were at the other part, the green part, but now on the other side, I didn't realize there was like this whole like calisthenics area. Like if you turn around here, you can see like the pull-up bars and like the push-up bars and stuff. This is where the reps gets done, right? And we, we got another one right here. We got a, a high one. I, I'm actually thinking something like this is what I would like in my gym, like the, the tall black monkey ladder style bars. And then over here, there's like some machine type stuff or whatever. So I just wanted to show you guys that one because that necessarily isn't like the real, real Wingate Park when you think about the fitness part of it, this area is. So Sean, let's get some reps, man. Yeah, we about to get some work in. I'm about to show them who the real man is. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, I was about to compliment this dude on my video. <laughs> he gonna come and say that, right? I'm just saying, bro. All right, man. All right, let's get some muscle up reps because if you guys don't know, we're actually gonna make a muscle up workout routine um, here in the next week. So stay tuned for that one. But I'm gonna wear my camera back. And then, Sean, you can. You can um, I know you're not as strong as me, but you know, you, you can do whatever you do. <laughs> With the bag. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. You're starting to get heavy. He said a t-shirt, yeah. No, I can't let it win. Hold on, I got another one. I got another one. That's all I got. That's all I got. Right Oh, no, no, but then chicken wing and yeah. no count, bro. <laughs> go on, go on, Thanks, go on. Bro. My <laughs> hands are done, by the way. Save it, bro. Arthur, you got some? Yeah. It's cold out here, man. What you got? Oh, snap. Let's go. Nice. Like, damn, those bars are cold. I know, my hands, man. Two hundred plus pounds. That's all I got. If y'all out there, no excuses. All right, <laughs> no excuses. This guy's doing it. Bro, how did you learn the straight bar handstand though? I can't do it. Bro, that. honestly, I'm gonna keep it real. I just kept trying it. Like, yeah, kept... I would squeeze the bar as hard as I can. Mm -hmm. Just squeeze the bar uh, and squeeze my core. Like those two main things. On the ground, you know, I can do it. I could do it easily. On the bar, it's like a lot of wrist work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like that's the main thing.
Oh, press, press, press. Nice. All right, so one thing I haven't worked is like just a straight bar handstand. So I'm gonna end off the video with a fail of me falling. So I already know I'm about to fall, but I'm still gonna go. You might do it. I might just do it. This is my squeeze that bar as hard as you can. I want my hand. All right, and then watch your shins. No, so if you bail, bail that way. Don't come. Oh yeah. Watch it. Done. Squeeze it. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Look at this guy. Tell him he can't. Yo, did you see that? Yo, I was oh, close. You gotta squeeze it.